All right, let's hope this tick works from here. I've done so many of these. I can't believe it. Oh, uh, man. Which uh, brings me to say here is I've been doing live recordings. I know for a lot of other people it saves time to do voiceovers, but it does affect the quality of the video, and uh, I just think it's better to do live. Okay, let's hope this works. Yes, okay. So I'm gonna go here, jump over, go in your hiding spot, move around a little, and bam! There we go. That took forever! I can't believe that. Okay, I believe that was like take 30, I swear. Alright, through invisibility, I suck at reading. Turning back at this point was not avoidable. And this brings us to the little flip of the game. There's no clones following you, nor there's no door at the end, just this yellow light that Alright, so you collect that and boom. Music changes. Light disappears, door changes to yellow. What's going on here? Self reflection is all important. He's turning he's changing his personality, his ways towards more positive. And here it says collect your past selves. Don't let any of them through. You can't let any of them escape like you were just trying to do. Uh, pretty simple. It gets trickier later on, but uh, you just gotta go and collect. Uh, now instead of past... Um, man, I just can't talk today. Instead of walking faster than you now, the clones all travel at half speed. Um, this, may, this is pretty simple. You just gotta go through and make sure that there are no clones um, in the level. And instead of time filling up the door, it's um, how many clones you have. Boom, so you have them all, but then that guy comes out and it gets down the wall. So there you go. Success or failure, cloud my judgment. Alright, so the trick here is to remember the path that you took so that you will be able to collect your past selves and not let in through. You want to give priority to the ones that you know are trying to escape. So recognize the path that you've previously took. So we're going to go along here, and this one seems to be a little tricky. There we go. Okay. The, ch the music did change here, if you didn't notice, it did. Uh, it's much more happier now. Um, I really like the music in this game. Uh, here we're almost done. Okay. <laughs> I can do this. Alright, got up here. Jump. Here we go, the conclusion of this level. Coming right up, if I can do this. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Bad memories I never had anymore, and dreams are the only thing on my mind. You can see, just by this little sentence here, things have gone much more positive. So yeah, as this levels get smaller and stuff, and you remember what pads you did, you see how much easier these get. The bigger the level, the more guys you have to collect and the more tricky it is, right? Um, and we're just gonna... Right now we can just spam waiting here and, you know, bring them to their doom. And then go through that door. Why is it the regrets have already passed me by? Uh, I should probably mention right now, as I haven't yet, which kind of sucks, you can fall off. Look at this. You will die to your death. <clears throat> yes. So uh, here we go. Uh, let's just got to remember what paths it took. It shouldn't be too hard. 
This is a little bit of a bigger level, but as long as you didn't take any super tricky paths, you should be able to collect your guys easily. You do not fall down like I just did. Guys, epic failure every now and then. Okay, well, maybe not really, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got it this time for sure. Oh, maybe not. Okay, I think let's get my swords back on. I don't know where the heck that phrase came from. Alright, so here we just gotta not allow entry. There we go. These factions on my past are part of who I am. This is easy. Boom, 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 boom. Done. I know that fame and fortune is the enemy. This one, you're probably gonna have a little bit of a hard time with. Because this was one of the trickier levels before. Not as tricky as that one level, but, um... You just don't want to miss any going down that tube. Because then you have to hop all the way back up it. Like I just, uh, apparently showed. Let's catch up to him. Alright. So, uh, see, this is what makes this level tricky, is you have to somehow collect those guys, but they are staying really slow there thanks to our time uh, taking our time little thing there that should be too shouldn't be too hard and then you just gotta you know camp up here and wait for those guys to come to their doom. Well make time go faster. Yeah, here you go, this is your strategy. Until they come, then you wanna get back up. Alright, there we go. Time I remember all too well. Alright, so we're just gonna boom, 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 boom. Collecting your past selves. Bam. Avoiding mistakes keeps leading me in circles. So he's coming to realization. How oh, sweet. This guy's gonna get through, isn't he? Nope. Ha ha ha. Die. Alright, let's see, I remember taking this path now. <laughs> Obviously, I forgot. Alright, take a little bit of longer jumps there. Bam, 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 bam. And I keep on saying bam. How it tells you. Running away from myself will not solve anything. Or will it? Tis the question. Okay, no. Maybe not. Not that it's actually humanly possible. Or if every software you can try and catch up. There we go. Close call. Alright, no. There we go. Okay. We're almost at the end of the game. It's not a too long game. It is a flash game after all. And turning back now, I see the goal before me. Let's see if we can do this before my time limit's up. This program only lets me do five minute clips so I have to keep on doing this. There we go. I beg to differ when people say you can't skip fast. You can. I just won't. Boom. Been. Finished. Finny. Done. This has been Little Man 794 playing One Step Back on ArborGames.com. Go check it out yourself. Or many of you may be just looking for this video to uh, find how I got through some levels. I hope you enjoyed, and I'm out.